you're just trying to make it not rusty. Yes. Alright, so we're walking through this Tudor sedan, which is actually not that bad. It's got lower rot like everything else has in the world. I was expecting worse from what you were saying to us about it. Yeah, it's not. Uh, well, he's comparing it to his other one, which is really nice. So. Yeah. But I don't think this is as bad as his truck cab. Uh, I think his cab was worse. It was dented to hell. It had holes all over the place. Yeah, this one at least isn't Really dented. bad patchwork. This one just has mediocre patchwork in it. Well, we all we have to do it all over again, so it's the same. Yeah, I guess so. If it's good, well, if it's decent, well, not so crappy, or it's really crappy, you still got to cut it out. <laughs> not so crappy. So. Yeah, I have no idea what this is for. But we got to put the... Oh, you know, I'm, I don't know why I'm trying to tell you what we're going to do, because I'm trying to figure it out right now. But I don't think this is real. No, it is. We're here. Because that's pretty holy. It is pretty holy and denty. Yeah, dented up all over here. So it's weird that they make this. I didn't think they would. Either. It's probably not the right shape at all. It doesn't look correct whatsoever. But you know, we the can bead looks fix about it. twice as thick. Look at this. You know, skinny, huh? <laughs> That's what they gave you. That's lined up with the end uh, of that bead. Well, we can wrap it around. Wrap it around. It does. Hmm. Yeah. Funky. Yep. And we got this patch, a beautiful patch right here. Dude, they didn't even try on that one. That one's pretty bad. <sighs> they didn't even make it flat. Like this is still. Oh, Quite maybe it is dented. Oh yeah. Okay. Didn't look at this very lumpy back there. Never mind. Yeah, there's quite a bit of work to do on this. That I said. But hopefully we can bang it out. We got some over the top pieces here. Got a new firewall. Got a wood kit. Um, got some oh, behind the door patches. We got cow patches wood kit but then i need to figure out what else he needs so i'm gonna do that now and let him know and then we can probably continue the theme for the day which is uh taking rust and paint off of things so we're probably gonna get these all cleaned up fresh to work with and maybe expose the patches the bottom of this whole car um so we know where to cut Let's leave it here. Because he's lazy. Or was lazy. From RAC Garage. And Beep. Kelly Bills. <laughs>
Uh, taillights, maybe? I'm not sure how Tudor sedans had taillights. Oh, yeah, they might not be on the fenders. It might be different, yeah. So we're cleaning up the body on all the patches that we got to do. So we got fresh metal and we start, you know, welding them in. Now I'm over here cleaning up the patches because uh, Bill has had these patches for uh, probably 10, 12 years. These are the nice ones. I just cleaned off this one was really bad. Um, still got a couple sections in the corners I need to get. Uh, I need to do the backside, but that compressor is taking forever to fill up. So while that's filling up, I decided to jump on here. Um, so yeah, I'm coming out all right. There's a couple of spots here where it's not the greatest, but you know, same thing happened to these roof inserts. They've been sitting around for too long and they got destroyed. Not destroyed from rust, but um, not great. This one's all right. The bottom of this one's almost perfect, but the top is, uh, you know, it's not, it's not the best. Got a weird texture to it. And the other one, has the bubble wrap imprint rusted into it. So I'm making a die for the pull max, doing pull max things finally. Um, so this funky little thing is this. I've been meaning to make something for this whole deal. So uh, yeah, I can see how much how far up this one is, and the other side is up to like here. So I need to be able to, you know, make this flange. In case this happens again and I need it for now so like I was telling Jacob I wish I had a plasma cutter so I could plasma cut this shape out and I'd have the male and female but my bands don't want to allow me to do that so I'm gonna have to like just cut a square out and then get close with the bandsaw and then get my die filer out and file it to shape Jacob was cutting out these patches, getting ready to put these in. They had the cowl too, found some rot behind it. I was making a die. You can see that before the piece is gone. 
Did a test piece somewhere. I don't know where it went. But it worked. And we put it up to the cowl up here. And it was nice, so I got to do a test, weld some posts to it, and then do a test piece. And maybe adjust it from there. But now we're going to go on a ride, small one, in the roads to pick up. Do some testing. And uh, pick up some feed for some, I don't know, what, chickens or chickens. chicken feed and hay bales. Yeah. Farmer stuff. Yeehaw. All right. Let's see if it starts. Got to test it under load. I have to fix this. Definitely smokes because I know. Yeah, I'm talking out of there. Looked like the exact same amount. It sounds better. Are you gonna check the carbs? Yes. It smells gassy. I was gonna say, get your foot on the gas pedal in case it uh, stalled out. But, there you go. <laughs> All right. for 145 maybe I don't know everything else seems good I think it does smoke a little less than before because usually in third gear if I just like mash on the throttle a whole ton of smoke comes in the cab and right now it's not that bad but you know having fun uh, it's exciting to have this thing back on the road and actually drive it places. So, sad that winter's coming, but at least I get a few more drives in, um, you know, before the snow hits. I was talking to Jacob on the ride. I think I want to make a uh, grill shell cover to cover the radiator and put, uh, you know, a few dimple dyed holes in it, kind of like race car style, just to keep a little bit more heat in the engine, maybe bring it up to 180 or something. I don't know. We'll see.